simply because the team that had been was appointed. The former Rwanda and Sporting Scythe coach takes over permanently from Frenchman Sebastien de Sabre, who left the position in July for Pyramids FC after guiding Uganda to the last 16 of the 2009 AFCON finals in Egypt. 34-year-old McKinsey arrives at a time when the national team's fortunes are on an upward trend and faces quite some task maintaining the path and even improving it. For Macrain's coach Mitchell Shredovic helped the country end a four-decade absence from Afghan finals, while his successor Disabre not only maintained the Serbian standards, but he qualified the team to the knockout stage. The newly appointed coach, Jonathan McKinsey, was welcomed by the vice president of FUFA, Justice Mugisha. So on behalf of uh, the Federation of Uganda Football Association, I want to welcome the new coach, Jonathan Mankistre, uh, whom I hope some people know as joining uh, to Uganda. Uh, we have been developing football in Uganda, and we are very sure that uh, from what we have seen, from what have, has been reported to us, we are sure that you are the right person, and you are welcome to work with us to make Uganda number one in Africa. McKins retold journalists about his starting points. When we put all of these things together, naturally we want to go further. That's both in terms of Africa. We've now, the cranes have now broken that sort of, you know, negative trajectory of 40 years without qualification. So the team qualified and now it then got into the knockout stages. So now the question is, can we continue this and can we go further in the knockout stages? But beyond that, we also want to look outside of Africa, and in the coming years, can we lay strong foundations to allow for a real competitive challenge to go further in the World Cup qualifications. And FUFA has given the Irish tactician a three-year contract deal effective from October 1st, and according to Edgar Watson, he's going to work under the assistance of the interim technical bench.